listeners, welcome back to this exciting. This is Rebecca Manier, and you're listening to Nollywood Spotlight Show on Nollywood Radio Front, and I'm here with my colleague, Cyprian Johnson. Cyprian, tell us, tell the listeners where you are right now. Right. Um, thank you, Rebecca. I'm in France, in a wonderful city, a beautiful city known for its cathedral called Chartres. It's 100 kilometers away from Paris. So, Rebecca, what do you have for us today? Right, let's get right down to business, guys. You're going to love this. We're talking about Jim Ike and Nadia Buhari. So, everybody knows Nadia Buhari. She is the beautiful, beautiful, light-skinned Ghanaian actress. Everyone who knows her, she usually plays a very gentle, sensible, she's always the brains in, in a group of of, uh, of actresses or in whatever movie she plays, she's usually the brains, the quiet one, the ones that usually brings everybody to their senses. So, we see Jim Ike and Nadia Burry, um, The Diary of Imogen, there is a movie that's out on that premiere. Um, we see her supporting Jim Ike at the premiere, and they look fantastic together. I mean, Cyprian, what do you think about the couple, Jim Ike and Nadia Buri? What do you think about that combination? Yeah, I think um, they can. It's um, a good combination, and um, Jim Ike um, and, and Nadia Buri, they've been together for a while, and then um, people have been saying that maybe um, they will soon get married, so, but what I say that in this profession, um, there, there are a lot of temptations, you see. So, um, we will not <laughs> shout hooray until they get married. <laughs> until we see them walking down the aisle. See, yes. with Jim Ike, a lot of people think that the, the people he gets with are people that are just as strong-minded and strong-willed as he is as well. So because of that, maybe the, the relationship doesn't work out. It's usually violent, you know, whenever they quarrel or something like that. I mean, not everybody's saying that with him and Nadia. It seems like that combination, everybody's thinking he maybe has actually made the right choice for once. You know, she's beautiful. She's more quiet. She seems more quiet and more private um, compared to Jemite's personality, which is the flashy... Um, shoes, he has a fetish for shoes, with, you know, with, and shoes. So, <laughs> we think maybe this might be the right combination. What do you think? Yeah, but we have all, every reason to believe that they are in love, you see. Uh, because um, at a time in the profession when you have kissed more than 150 ladies, and uh, at, wow. at, at times you would like to settle down as a man, you see. So, I think uh, I think um, Nadia Bury would be... Um, um, let's pray for them. Will be uh, <laughs> <laughs> the wife of uh, Jim Ike and also uh, maybe uh, Nadia Buari. Also, uh, I mean uh, Jim Ike was, uh, um, also the husband of uh, Nadia Buari. But now um, the point is that um, if uh, the marriage is the, the, uh, well, uh, what uh, what I wanted to say is that the fans are waiting because uh, when you depend on the, on your fans. I think the best way to uh, um, pay back what they are giving to you is to give them enough information. Don't throw foam around yourself. Now, they are public figures. And then whatever they are today, uh, well, uh, it is they have, uh, it came from their fans. So I think they, they, they can be bold enough, courageous enough to say, we will soon get married. Oh, try to give a date or it's a serious affair but we can never say whether it's serious or not because they've been together you see and again you can see them in one movie or the other kissing one girl or the other i know is the profession the advantages of the profession you see i'm not throwing stone on anybody please don't kill me <laughs> <laughs> what i'm only right, saying is right. that it's not easy to be an actor or an actress and get married that way, except you have to do something or agree, have certain an agree, uh, have certain agreement to say that okay, there are scenes that you will play. I'll close my eyes. You see, you see, you see. Or 
Uh, or you say, okay, there are scripts or scenes I will never play anymore. New scenes no more since we got married. You see, it's not easy. It's not easy. That is, that is, um, that is the price to pay. The price to pay is your privacy. You have no more privacy. Your right. husband will look at you kissing another man in a movie, or you are naked in a movie. You, that's the price to pay. You see, right. so that's all the questions some some fans are asking. You know, we have to. Be, they, they can't come to the radio. Well, I mean, all our listeners cannot come to see us and say, "Okay, let's put our voice together." I think you and I, we are we are their mouthpiece, and then we say what they want to tell other people. So I think that's the most. Um, difficult aspect in this job but it's enjoyable it's just like you are playing in a, a recreation with two uh, um, you know with, with fellow kids it's it's an enjoyable job but uh, the point is that you have a price to pay when it comes to marriage because marriage is a serious affair right and and to to even add um, more emphasis on the hundred and fifty that you mentioned earlier um, just to remind the fans Basically, Jim Ike, since the beginning of his career in 2001, has appeared in over 150 Nollywood films. Good. So, Cyprian's number is absolutely on point when he's saying he has kissed over yeah. 150 mm -hmm. women. So, we all do want to see this dude settle down because at least one of those 50 has to be the one come on you know yeah but i'm just saying <laughs> you know when 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 a guy like jim ike settles down they settle for good yeah right yeah because um right. you you've seen it all you see <laughs> right you know you know you've what i mean yes exactly. yes exactly. so you now so, want to um, that's that's definitely important and also <laughs> um with jim ike it, it seems as though you know we're we're always seeing him with the be a beautiful lady here and there, but I guess that doesn't really matter because he is with Nadia Buari. Yeah, she is absolutely yeah, yeah. gorgeous and beautiful, and we cannot wait to see both of them actually walk down the aisle. Yeah, the like moment. like you said, Rebecca, they they <laughs> they are in love, and love is blind. You see, so and they again let the blindness continue because it's the, it's a, it's a good one and then yeah. until it takes them down to the altar so i think um it's um um it's it's interesting to see both of them together it's a good match they they are uh, they it is a hands they they are beautiful people and um and, and then waiting for the day they will invite us to their marriage you and i you be coming all the way from houston texas and i'll be coming all the way from uh France. except except yeah listen Maybe the marriage is not going to be in Nigeria. Hey, hey. Oh, remember? We've seen that trend lately. <laughs> it, yeah, it, it can it can happen in Paris because Paris is another point and uh, another stop for a good number of uh, Nollywood actors and actresses mm -hmm. when mm -hmm. when it True. comes to marriage. Yeah, yeah, they, they come to Paris. Or, or the honeymoon. The it, honeymoon also takes place normally in France. Yes, yeah, in France, in Paris. Yeah. Because it's mm -hmm. um, a romantic um, a spot for a good number of them. Now let's let's go to another hot news, no hot story. Yeah. I know you're going to give us something to chew. <laughs> Absolutely, so fascinating. Although not new. I mean, to us in Europe, we we may be raising one eyebrow as to how this is still going on yes. and how educated and, and well-traveled people are still practicing this tradition. But singer OJB Jazrael poses with his three wives, this article says in 112 Breaking News. Um, and basically they took a picture, all four of them took a picture at the airport when um, OJB was living in Nigeria, living in Lagos, uh, to go to India. A kidney transplant, which by the way, um, just for you guys who didn't know, one of his wives actually donated a kidney to him. So, um, which is which is really great of her. I mean, that that's very very warm heart. I mean, just just amazing that you would be willing to give up something so valuable for someone. Um, but the idea here is 
OJB is married to three wives in 2014. What is your difference? It's um, marriage of convenience. <laughs> Marriage of convenience. Yes, what does that mean? yes, because uh, having three ladies that agree to stay with a man, if you don't have money, it can work. Let, let me go straight to the point. I hit the nail on the uh, on. Uh, <laughs> I hit the hammer on the nail. It can't work it, because 2004. We on 2014. You see. To raise a family now, you need money, and again, where is the love? You see, oh, do they pretend they, there's love between three of them? So, so what you're saying is these three women are not in love with him? Why? Okay, okay, let's let's even remove the feelings between the three women and him. Yes. Why would OJB go as far as marriage if he didn't love them? Um, that's a big question. That's number one. Uh, <laughs> you, you you want to first word out of my mouth? It won't come from me. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm just following you. I mean, you're saying a marriage of convenience. That is a big word. Like, yeah. why would you dedicate your life? I mean, there is a psychological understanding. Yeah, because we know. Getting married. Yeah, yeah, it's because not, not just, because you know. we know, we know, Rebecca, that when you have even uh, when you see normal couples when they, what, what I define as normal couples I'm not against any tradition you see two people living together it's it's not easy you see you see them quarreling at times not disagreeing now imagine one two three plus the man uh, it, it's how do you see that there are advantages there are advantages nonetheless but there are still disadvantages and the disadvantages are more than the advantages because there there must be competition between the ladies that's clear and then if there be competition between the children that's clear again and again every night every night you do you don't have to tell me that four of them sleep on the same bed you see so i mean maybe he's the first guy who created the largest bedroom mattress <laughs> in the world where he has Four people sleeping on the bed. Okay, yeah, let's assume. Know, let, let's extra assume. large king. Yeah, let's assume. Okay, let's assume it. That, that that's the way it goes. But I have <laughs> I, I I have seen it in the village when I was small. The in a polygamous home, the first wife is uh, has more authority than the other ones, and then you see every lady has got her tongue every night and then not only oh, that wow. yes not only that the food the food the man um when the food comes all the ladies will be watching him the way he's going to test the food he wow. might if he eats uh, the food of madame b more than the other one that means you must have gone to the juju man like what they say to make sure he, he's oh, only for you goodness. so it's not easy it's not even easy for one wow. simple couple with one and one, that is one man and one woman in in our time to live together. Imagine three in the home. So what is holding that for me, for me, what is holding them together is money. The man must be rich. Right. Money. I think so. I think money definitely plays a big part. Oh, yes. But I really don't, I, I guess I, I still don't believe that polygamy, polygamy still exists in Africa, knowing fully well the, the repercussion of the relationship between each other. Um, but in this picture, they're all smiling, they're all happy, so maybe it works. Maybe it works for them, and oh, they, we're just not saying something. Yeah, but all that glitters is not gold. You, you right. go to live with them, you will understand it's not all, it's, it's not the picture, the picture you see is quite different, you see. But, <laughs> but we all know, we all know that if, imagine you staying with, with your own sister or your own brother or your own, you know, you, you can see the space. We, we need our space. But now we're talking about marriage. It's quite different. But in this, it, but it, in, anyway, in Africa, it can, it can work out for the fact that uh, men are men in Africa. You right. know what I mean? Uh, he is the chief of the house. So whatever he decides holds. But that's not the way it happens in France or in London or anywhere. 
you see uh, what we say here in France the ladies hold the key so the key of the house so we are almost equal here 50 50 right. you see so right. so so, so uh, um, uh, polygamous families in Africa can walk there's no problem because the man can say hey you go to the kitchen you go to the kitchen Right. And, and and he's not going to wash the place or go to the kitchen or even sweep the house. He's not doing anything. He sits anything. down, the food comes. The you food see? comes to him. Yeah, but here in Europe, where I live, in France where I live, the woman will tell you, go to the kitchen and do your, um, and just um, make yourself fine. And then you walk inside the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> that is too funny. Don't paint that picture. It's not always like that, sister. <laughs> In France, you see, we have something similar to polygamy. Here, we, we a good number of people, you know, here they have mattress. Mm. Mm, that means you got your wife, you still have another lady, one or two or three. So, oh. he didn't, it, it, it looks like polygamy because polygamy is, is not, it's, it's against the law in France. You see, so you cannot have two wives in France or three wives, it's impossible. But still, you have a wife, but you have two, three, four outside. So, for me, the same coin is the same coin, if you want. So, I think in in in, in different cultures, different countries, the the name is not polygamy, but it's in different forms. So far, you can find human beings. You yeah. see. So, and again, but why is difficult? Why we're talking about this is in 2014, it's it's more difficult to have a polygamous family because you need to maintain your family. You've been listening to Nollywood Radio France. Keep on checking on our website www.nollywoodradiofrance.com. Thanks for listening.